If you have given up alcohol forever, or maybe you're trying dry January or sober October, or possibly you're just trying to cut back and you're wondering if non-alcoholic beer is a worthwhile experience for you, then you've come to the right place. I'm so happy you're here because in today's video, I am going to taste for you four non-alcoholic beers from Klaus Taller, the people who brought us the world's first non-alcoholic beer. Well, technically, non-alcoholic beer can be traced back to medieval Europe where it was safer to drink than water because it had trace amounts of alcohol and it killed all the bacteria. But Klaus Haller was the first to bring it to the market in the 1970s. So let's try it out. Come on, kids. Let's go have a taste. We're going to get right into the tasting, but stay with me because I'm going to show you how you can level up your non-alcoholic drinking experience by turning these N.A. beers easily into delicious mocktails. So I'm going to go ahead and start with reviewing the original. Looks like we have a light amber color. Nice little head, not too much, so bubble structure could be flat. It is a little not as crisp as I would like it to be. It's got like a almost like a syrupy mouth feel, which maybe on its own doesn't quite lend itself to that crisp cold beer refreshing flavor that you'd like but I think it could lend itself well to a mocktail. Um, I'm getting some hay it's a little bit grassy but again I, I get like a lot of sweetness I'd say it's like a light carbonation on that one and then the next one we'll go ahead and try is the dry hopped it looks like we're getting a little bit more of a head um, this one has already kind of lost its structure. Uh, this one is a little bit darker in color, a little bit more in the amber. And it, it smells very malty. It's actually very satisfying to smell. I like it. This is really nice, much better on the carbonation. I would say this is more medium carbonation, definitely more refreshing, definitely going to give you more of that beer experience that you're after. I could drink this quite a bit. I think that's quite lovely. Well, let's go ahead and try the grapefruit. Really pretty color. Peach, nice bubbles. Very fresh grapefruit on the nose, almost like how you get in an IPA like a little bit of a resiny type pine grapefruit it's very natural not like a candy artificial it's really good so not as much of a malty flavor as say these two not so much that beer but definitely not sweet like a soda would fulfill that sort of non-alcoholic adult flavor it's quite tasty I'm excited to make a mocktail from it. It's very refreshing. Mm. I like it. And then on this side we have the Holiday. All of these can be found at Total Wine or Whole Foods. Obviously you're not going to be able to find this year round, but it was available to me at this time so I figured we should taste it and review it. Again a decent head. This is going to be well, it's comparable in amber color to the Dry Hopped. Oh, it's so good on the nose. It's like a, a lot of baking spices and um, sweet apple. It's really good. Made my mouth water. Again, not as malty as these two are. I definitely think this one is going to be your uh, beer quenching, satisfying go-to. But this is lovely. You could drink a lot of these as well. And you can drink a lot because they're non-alcoholic. Mmm. So good. So overall, I think these are pretty tasty, pretty decent. I'm going to say the original is my least favorite just because of the lack of bubble structure, just not the carbonation I would like to have in a non-alcoholic beer. The dry hopped, uh, definitely more flavor. I got a lot of tea, a lot of bread, but still that crispness that you expect out of a beer. Um, the grapefruit was very refreshing. I'm excited to see it in a mocktail. And this one is just all around delicious. I think it's enjoyable on its own, and I'm also excited to see what we can do with it in a mocktail. If you like delicious things, go ahead and hit that like button and stay with me, and we're gonna make some mocktails. 
For our first bevy, the Angel Face Rattler, you will need Klaus Toller Original, Fresh Lemon Juice, Non-Alcoholic Triple Sec, Apricot Flavoring, and Thyme for Garnish. Let's start by adding one ounce of fresh lemon juice to an iced highball glass. Then we will add a boop or a quarter ounce of non-alcoholic triple sec, followed by one dash apricot flavor. Now let's stir in our Klaus Toller Original. We're going to garnish this with a lemon swath. Be sure to express this over your mocktail to get those nice aromatics. We're also going to add a sprig of fresh thyme. Be sure to spank your herbs to release all those delicious smelling oils. And there you have it, the Angel Face Rattler. For our next drink, the Straight Shady, you will need Klaus Toller Dry Hopped, fresh lime juice, all the bitter aromatic bitters, jalapeno, and salt for the rim. We'll start off by making a half rim of salt on a snifter because we're fancy. Then we're going to add a couple of thinly sliced jalapenos. You can adjust this for your taste, however spicy you might like your beverage. Give those a little bit of a muddle. Fill your glass with ice. Then we're going to add two dashes, all the bitter aromatic bitters. half ounce fresh lime and stir in your dry hopped. Then we're going to garnish with a lime wheel and a jalapeno slice. And there you have it, the straight shady. For the next mocktail you will need Klaus Toller grapefruit, fresh lemon juice, Liars Italian orange, orange flower water and grapefruit for garnish. First, let's ice our wine glass. Then let's add one and a half ounces Liars Italian orange, followed by a half ounce fresh lemon juice. Then we're going to add one dash orange flower water. I love using orange flower water. It just gives mocktails that special something. Then top it off with our Klaus Toller grapefruit. Then we're going to add a big grapefruit wheel for garnish. And voila, you have the false jasmine. For the apples in stereo, you will need the Santa Claus Toller, fresh lemon juice, all the bitter New Orleans bitters, dried apple rings, and lemon for garnish. Let's kick this one off by icing a rocks glass. Then we'll add two dashes of all the bitter New Orleans bitters. We'll follow that up with a half ounce of fresh lemon juice and stir in our Santa Claus Toller. We're gonna garnish this with a scorched dried apple ring. This will give us a delightful caramelized aromatic experience. We're also going to add a beautiful lemon twist for a bright freshness on the nose. Make sure to perform your twists over your bevies so that all of those fragrant oils make it in. And there you go, apples in stereo. We did it. We tasted the beers. We made the mocktails. Subscribe if you want to see more non-alcoholic products tasted and reviewed and more mocktails made. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It's good.